even more pike changes, this time to his passive. In addition to the original passive, he now has the gift. Where every 50 seconds, if there is a nearby ally champion, specifically within a thousand range, Pike's basic attacks will execute minions or wards and will grant that ally the kill gold instead of himself. This will obviously help increase the ultimate threshold. So now you got his passive giving him execute as well as his support item. And because of the new passive, the execute threshold gained has been lowered. The only other PBU changes are to Talia. Her base armor was increased by 2 and movement speed was nerfed by 5. As for Talia's Q, its mana cost got lowered in the lower levels and also casts on work ground got a tweak. Its mana cost now starts at 20 and it increases by 5 mana per point you have in the ability instead of costing a flat 30 mana. The ability also now deals 170% damage to monsters instead of 150%. Now a Swain hotfix. This was hotfix straight to live servers. His base armor has been buffed by 3 and base movement speed has been buffed by 5. Anyway, that is everything for this one. But before I end, I do want to talk about the Echo Q and Siren E changes from yesterday. They were both actually bug fixes and not changes. So for example, on the live servers right now, Echo's tooltip says it has a 40% AP ratio. But when you actually look at the damage number, it only scales 30%. It's really frustrating because tooltips are the only official source of information really. So for them just to be incorrect is just a nightmare. But I know now what to look out for so I'll try to make sure I don't make similar mistakes in the future. In future videos I probably still will show them however I'll mention that they are actually just fixes to the tooltips. Anyway as always I'll catch you in the next one.